um, uh, tabu for mm. Olympic Age ko paano yung uh, pagkakatalo nila against South Sparks for uh, the previous season, guys. Pero, this is game number one. This is the version 2.0 na Olympic Age and for South Sparks, madaming players or may players sila dito coming from uh, their team na talagang uh, addition for the roster pero sanay na sa mga gantong eksena. Tama ka dyan, Ate Mo Chantel. Pero guys, mind you, uh, remind po lang, uh, sa lahat ng series naglaban ng Sun Sparks at Onyx PH, hindi nanalo ang uh, Onyx PH against yes. Sun Sparks. Yun That yung hits the history. Ano. O, kung titignan yung trend, mananalo sila ng, uh, sa, sa game pero not the series. Diba? Kung bagay ito so, yung mm -hmm. Kung bagay ito yung There's this uh, kind of team na kahit gano'n kayo kalakas, merong uh, certain uh, player, certain hero, certain uh, something team, na oh. mahirap talagang uh, kontra yun. And for Onyx PH, that is going to be Sun Sparks. So, uh, question here is for uh, Onyx PH, will they be able to break that uh, norm or stigma sa ating ML community na hindi nila matalo yung Sun Sparks? While for Sun Sparks, guys, congratulations nga pala kay uh, parin JP natin. Uh, pero anyways, this Ayan is na. the siya agad ni Salt Sparks dito on this match naku medyo naguguluhan lang din naman pero disengage again there is no casualty pero makikita natin na there is the aggressive play and the safe play as well both at the same time good uh, shot call kung kailan sila magbabak dito alam mo yung tinuloy natin pag-uusapan natin dito na never nanalo on the pitch ang nangyayari kasi nagsisilbing Paquito Diaz sa mundo ni Fernando po <laughs> ang Salt Sparks dito again on the pitch the rocket coming from this Kimi yun na First blood na gan. Actually, Beshi, comment, ano lang natin doon, balik tayo doon sa side comment mo. Medyo hindi ako nakasabi doon. Feeling ko, it's about the age gap. Nabasa ko lang. Sabi ko, yun pala yung kontrabida. Parang hindi ko masyadong tanda si Garpa Kaito Diaz. Pero guys, sa mga nanonood, ibig sabihin, may idea na kami. May idea na kayo sa age gap namin ni Prop Day. Sabi ni Tito. Sabi ni Tito. Pero ito, babalik tayo dito. Beshi warms all my Venus. Medyo pula din ito. Focus for coming from Daddy Top Global JP. Iyak do, ang bilis na pagkapulado sa may alis na muna dito. Grabe yung ano no, yung uh, DPS talaga confirm marksman at the early part of the game. Hindi mo talaga ikakailan na talaga it's there. Oh my God, as much as you want to negate it, mm -hmm. marksman kasi siya. So uh, knowing for your sun sparks, uh, yeah. mid lane nga uh, onic pH. So very crucial siya guys. Pero into the game we go again. This is game number one na ating uh, series number one. Rematch of the century. Ika nga, ang dami na ating supporters for both sides. Uh, Specifically for Onyx PH, na madaming comments with that uh, finals on the last or the previous season ng ating MPL. But the question here is, marini team pa talaga na Onyx PH. Casters for MPL season 4, talaga ginulat tayo na Onyx PH. Hindi natin sila kalala on the start, pero ginulat na tayo. But anyways, going back into the game, I guess this is it. Mga besi wap, uh, almost 4 minutes into the game. Uh, 1-1 na ating score. This is the rematch of the century. Turtle is now up for the objective. Well, well, well. Para sa ating both teams, nakareti yung South Sparks dito. Beshi Wap, kumbaga, anohan lang to. Nandito si Kupa, kumbaga, or Kupa for all the KH para makiramdam. Tama, kailangan ka makiramdam, kailangan ka mag-ingat. Kay Kupa, there you go. They're able to take down si Wise who misstep dito using the rocket. Jay, nakap coming from Kilowash. The 5 minutes BOD we have the dragon to show the aso palabas and unleash the championship. Oh! Dito, the wise against Sun Sparks. Another rocket. Solid yun. Solid yun. All I can say, Beshi, it is very solid for Oric PH. Nakakuha sila ng kill, tas nakuha nila yung top lane. Two, ah, hitting two birds with one stone. Kasi, nakapatay na sila, tas nakapag-objective pa sila. Tapos yung top lane dito ng South Sparks, ang nagde-defend is yung Farsa. So Farsa is very crucial in terms of team fight kasi yun yung possible mo pang zone out for South Sparks. But anyway, speaking of top lane, nandito na ako yung out, nakapurify lang din naman. It's parang kaya nito natin na makapulit-tulis lang din naman yung paningin. Pero nandito ang aso ni paring madang moist, I mean, oh maybe, natin out this match. Wabe, pinapakita ng gagalawan dito ng Onyx PH, Way of the Dragon, walang alium combination. And the knockup coming from Rafisha to the Palom. The Power Tower will kill Jay. So, ang bing ano nila, no? Yung KMC, may kita mo na on point yung mga skills nilang pagbibitaw dito. Now, pansinin natin dito, Beshi, is yung objective. 
Oo, oh, oh, oh. objective talaga Beshi. Kasi only PH kailangan natin sila, sila yung talagang panggulat factor for MPL Season 5. Actually, dinala nila yung uh, buong Mobile Legends community ng uh, Philippines in a whole different level. So, uh, for this time, para sila yeah. naging standards. Tapos nag-adapt yung mga teams natin doon. And speaking of adapt, nandito yeah. si Yakto with an ejector. Napatay lang lang naman si Green. Pero bakit si Paul kaya na siya walang tinatamaan. Si JP dito, or daddy JP natin for Sunsparks. Wala na rin buhay and disengaged for them. When well, that is happening, we have Cho on the bottom lane side. Taking that uh, third end, pero middle lane side. Uh, ang uh, magdedeterioride dito for uh, Sunsparks. Alam mo, kailangan tuloy-tuloy na to ng Onyx. I-capitalize na nila early. Na kalamangan nila dito over extender man dito si Jay. That's a questionable movement. Glorious pathway can meet, pero it's not enough para isay bang kanyang boy nakap. Oh my Venus, beautiful B pop against Kill Wash. Hapul na muna dito. Alis na muna. They want to get the turtle. Another rocket will be thrown by the side of Onyx PH controlling from the back lines. Look at that. Napet ka din na very deep into. My boy pop. My Kill Wash will fall. Buhay pa nga si Esmeralda. Sabay yun na ang nangyari from the recent clash, guys. <laughs> Actually, for that one, for RPH, what's good is that uh, kita natin nakapatay dito yung Sunsparks. Yes, nakapatay dito yung RPH. Pero hindi nila binabaya, pinapabayaan dito yung top lane side, which is nasira lang din naman. Guys, th my view, this is 7-minute game time for RPH and Sunsparks, pero nakasira na second or third. This is very unusual knowing that this both teams came from the championship match mm -hmm. previous season. So it's all about kung sino ito yung aangat pagdating sa objective kasi mahuhuli. Oh. Pero anyways, it's a check door para kaiyak na natin dito on this joint. Johit is a really hot thing. Salama oh. natin talaga. Iba, iba yung pinapakita dito. Tira mo, very uh, low skill, uh, I mean, uh, very low kill points ang ating laro. Pero yung push potential pinapakita dito ng sign ng Onyx uh, PH. They're sticking with their strategy, capitalizing the use of Kimi na kumuha ng objective para, and plus yung aso pa kasi dito ni Omay oh Venus. The double combination para makakuha ng objective. Easy peasy ang rotation ng Onyx PH. Oh, actually, speaking of easy peasy, Beshe Wap, ang uh, problema dito for, uh, for Sunspark is that merong high loss. Alam natin si high loss sobrang kunat. And oh my Venus, alam natin sobrang stable talaga niya or kumbaga stronghold na siya para din sa utility for uh, this uh, league. And uh, pag may front ka, sobrang hirap i-penetrate ng isang uh, PNK. So uh, mahirap for Sunsparks actually to target out this uh, Kimi kind of hero for Onyx PH. So uh, that is very crucial. Nakabuelo na naman vision-wise, lamang dito. Uh, because they have the magical aso for LPH <laughs> and Turtle has been taken here by Sunsparks. So by Liku dito sa bottom uh, turret or bottom side Onyx ng pala. Onyx PH on the top, meron natin namumulong, namumuong kaguluan. Another rocket will be thrown by West. Labanan lang pala ng mga hayop to. May aso, may ibon, may may kabayo. Lumad <laughs> na. Oh, ano? Diba? Oh, na ito na ito na ito na ito na Hindi ko lang alam kung part yun. Pero anyway, chicken to para kay Kiluwash. Pero it's double force para kay Iyak na walang killing speed para sa kanya. And uh, um, correct lang natin yung error kanina. Nakasecure pala ng uh, turtle or chicken is uh, Onyx PH. Pero yun pa lang yung ano natin talaga guys na sobrang lamang dito. Napakasakit! Napakasakit! Iyo ba sasabi ko? Kuya Eddie, napakasakit talaga. Yung alam mong gusto mong... Gusto mong sabihin na wait lang. Wait lang ha. Bula mo na mak kami. Pero for our case, sobrang init nila ngayon sa laban natin. Iba. Iba. Uh, alam mo, nasa position na dito yung ano eh. Yung uh, Onyx PH na kaya na nilang i-capitalize yung ganitong lamang para ma-push at ma-push tuloy-tuloy lang. Hindi pa ata uh, binibigay ng uh, Onyx PH yung buong force nila sa ganitong sitwasyon. I think they're trying to run ng discipline. Uh, still waiting for the Lord just to make sure na makapush. Plus, i-comment ko rin si Kel VJ. Isa rin si Kel VJ nagiging factor kung bakit pala nai-stop yung push potential ng Onyx PH using the Feather Earth Strike. Yes, uh, speaking of uh, that one, actually for Onyx PH naman tayo, Beshiwap, ang 
product of Fuera Sons is that nakikita si Dilar or the Esmeralda of Onyx PH na maging part no ng ating fight. So, uh, Esmeralda is still at 002. So, uh, stay lane mo na siya. And yung lane na binabatay niya actually is the push na uh, until the second tier. So, malaking bagay na agad yun. But anyways, top 4 of that game or this game ay uh, napatay si Dilo. So, wait lang. Madam B is dead on the river side. And so, Madam B, kilala natin talaga uh, parang uh, pinaka-guard siya na, ng Riverside. Yun yung strengths ng Onyx PH sa mga hindi nakakaalam. Si Madam B talaga ang nagbibigay ng vision para sa kanilang team. Pero Lord, guys, possible. Onyx PH. Sa likod. Sa likod. Nakapatay lang din naman. Pero for since Adi score, we have Iakno here on to the top lane side. Pero uh, medyo delikado ito actually kapag ka matabag, matabang yung Joy ka. This is a level 12 Joy head as compared to the level 10 show ni paring kiluwas dito at escape. So mahirap pag uh, head to head battle sa kanila na sila dalawa lang. But anyways, kita natin ngayon why securing that buff or orange buff ng Sunsparks to negate this jungle for Sunsparks. 4-6 in favor of uh, Onyx. Still mababa pa rin ang killing points sa atin dito. Waiting game sila and I think ibibigay na nilang Lord. Para sa Onyx PH, anyway, it's only a level 1 Lord. Kayang-kaya pa nila tunawin. Ang ginagawa lang dito ng Sunsparks is pinapatagal lang nila yung laro once na mag-online si JP. Ang good yeah, question yes, yes. dito, do you think uh, Besh Warbs is sapat pa sa late game si JP using the carry na buhati ng buong Sunsparks against sa nagi snowball na Onyx PH? So, 12-minute mark of the game. Actually, yung question mo, Beshi Warps, mm -hmm. ang uh, pinakasagot ko dyan, hindi ko sure kung mabaya Beshi Warps si Kels na yung uh, tawagan natin <laughs> dahil pahama tayo ng pahama. Pero anyways, for Sunsparks kasi, crucial here is, kailangan talaga nila eh. Pero, sa ginagawa natin ng Onyx PH, parang super rela, super, kung baga ang term nga, is choreographed. Kasi alam nila, yung magiging takbo ng laban. Kasi dito, as we could see here on this match, yung second tier territory sa mid lane, which is the shortest lane sa ating uh, laro ngayon, is almost masisira na. We have the Lord on the bottom lane for Sun Sparks. Medyo malayo pa ang kailangan habulin dito ng carry. Glorious pathway para kay Chase. Sundo, stick, stick! Against this girl, di para patay lang naman. Ako mo, ang sira yan. Hibin ng turret buhay pa ang Lord, mga kaibigan. 5-6 sa ating score, pero napaka-intense na laban ngayon. And this is already an edge for Onyx PH because this is super minion we are talking about. Kung titignan nyo, atin mo, Chantel, Beshi Wars, kung ano-ano pa na tao pagdala sa isa't isa. Grabe ka nga doon. Halos lahat pa lang, ay tlo, tatlong membro ng is nasa late game dito ni JP and the clutch time mismo ni Kilo Wash the Mr. 5 minutes BOD kids lang po kids lang po uh, kids on the block uh. old and new kids on the block kung baga para sa atin labi ngayon but anyways so mga bago thing this is 30 minutes and 30 seconds your game time 5-6 is the score we can see here for Onyx PH they are very aggressive against South Park so uh, this is very unusual for this uh, both teams kasi gaya na sinabi natin, this is the rematch of the century. Ang dami nating heartbreaks both good for good the good fans good. of Sun Sparks and for Oric PH. Pero kita nyo, yung Kiwi mong uh, hindi mo alam kung bakit kasi may racket. Napakasakit <laughs> agad against that Farsa. 5-6 in favor of uh, Onyx PH doing a great job. Racket after racket. Si Wise tamang chani lang dito. Hindi nila kailangan lumapit eh. Kanina papansin ko sa mid-term eh. Hindi kailangan lumapit dito yung oh my goodness. Pero hold that thought guys. Sign to control. Iyakno being shown by Kilowash. Rocket. Follow up damage. Coming from the side of Onyx. Hinahabol na si JP. Medyo na-open siya dito sa gitna. Na-trap pa nga. Travis. Travisoid. Kiel BJ. Pumagsak na dito. Double kill. Para kay Madam Venus. Pero they're able to take down. Dalawa rin membro. Hindi. Isa lang pala. The joint will fall down. Rapli siya tamang yakap lang dito. Power tower combination ng Sun Sparks. Sa may healing galing naman dito ni Hylos. Grabe. We have to commit the Beshi Wap. Kung gaano ka confident dito yung core hero ng Onyx PH. We have voice there in between that top lane internet and middle lane internet. Nandun pero free lang talaga siya. Please, kita natin yung flicker up for JP. And we have three players here for Sun Sparks to defend their pace. Kita natin dito na hila si JP. Pero mind you guys, that is the high loss. Kumapatay ba? That is the question natin. Na huwa. Nang Tori dito. 7 na na ating score. 15 minutes guys. It's just 7-9 objective ang labanan ngayon. Woo! 
Kapit lang guys. Every JP may pag-asa pa. May pag-asa pa dito. Pero still, they were able to take down ang kanila objective. Yung top turret. 10 seconds para sa next Lord dito. Medyo may pwiluan na na Onyx Pageant. Trying to hold all my Venus. Nasa miss position. Hindi ata maganda yung mga nag, nag, naiiwan ka sa mga ganong uh, sitwasyon. Kasi I don't know. Ano yung idea ni Venus that time? Bakit siya pa nag-stay? Diba? Na dapat, oh, na dapat sumisetup na sila. Lahat ng papasok going into the Lord side. Nyaw! Nakabuelo dito ang Sun Sparks. Mamomor problema ang buo. Ayan na. Diba? Kimi Lords ka. Oh, Ang oh. alam natin sa Kimi, medyo may tiking bump to. Oh, oh Lord! Uh, guys, has been taken here by Sunspark. So, uh, we'll see guys kung uh, sobrang bilis lang. Actually, this is the level, no. level 2, Lord. Sobrang bilis lang yan for Onyx Page. Actually, to defend, sinulubog na nila. <laughs> Magkakalabas doon knowing that they also have the super minions on their side. Uy, bello ah! Anyway, si Rafflesia dito, nahinga. Bello nahinga na. malalim. Pakikiramdaman natin. Pero uh, medyo mali ang air pack din on. Kira natin guys, we have Jay here. Nasun doon. Revitalize! Nako po mga kaibigan, that is gonna be the revitalized. Roughly siya napakapunan pero patay lang din naman. Tank ang kanya napatay. Roughly siya dito, wala nang gamer tag. Ilwash for the show, patay lang. Atak! Atak! Yara! Roughly siya! Nakuha pa dito si Roughly siya sa may disengage. Two man down for the side of Onyx PH trying to force push. Nakuha lang nila yung gusto silang objective. Well played sa Onyx PH kasi sinalubong nila si Lord. Hindi na nila hinayaan pong melo. Diba? Tapos kung titignan mo, bago pa dumapo yung um, minion sa mid uh, turret, is tinangki na somehow dito ni Dilar. Oh, basta so, ako, mm -hmm. Beshi, and sa lahat nanonood, I decided long ago never to walk in any one shot. Let's decide guys. <laughs> 10, 12, mga discord top farmer for this game is gonna be the carry. So the more na na-extend dito ang laban ng Sun Sparks versus Onyx, the more na magiging uh, problema for RPH because we know that this Kimi has this ticking bomb. Oh, look at that guys, the item. Kung titignan nyo, kung bakit baba, sobrang sakit ng uh, isang uh, Kimi. Look at the item, glowing one, holy crystal, ice queen one, sabay divine glib. Tapos ano double one pala? Wonder Wish STG. Para kaya, ano, kaya wise, having glowing one and ice queen one, may slow ka na. Meron ka pang uh, init at lamig na combination. Oh, Sumilip oh. lang si KLBJ. Ganun nung kabilis yung damage ng isang Kimi para sa ganito situation. Actually, the corruption for uh, I mean, uh, for uh, Spons Sunsparts is that meron Kimi dito uh, the magical damage DPS-wise and they also have the Esmeralda. So for Sunspark, question here is for the support and for the tank, kung ano i-build nila kung uh, pagiging uh, magic damage pa or yung anti for the Jawhead because they also have the carry that they need to be seated. So as we could see here for Sun Sparks, we have the Earth Helmet for Kofri on this match. So far for Olympic Asia, things are looking good. Sira and Romantori here are inhibitor turret of Sun Sparks and we can see that Olympic Asia is just a little bit of a team. Exactly. You know, the only thing here is that Olympic Asia is just waiting for the next Lord. Because tinitignan ko, wala sila yung kayang bumutas agad ng tore ng isang mabilisan eh. Kasi naka-magical uh, damage yung isang Kimi dito. Di ba? So, tapos nakapwesto pa dito or samaw meron silang kaja. Na later on, if ever mag-over-extend kayo sa ganyang uh, push yo, mahahablot kayo dito ni, ano, ni, ni Grid. Which is possible na mag-turn ng, ng momentum sa ganitong sitwasyon. Late game na already, it's already 20 minutes. Game number one, guys. Lord, 30 seconds, palabas na rin. Tamang pressure lang or focus pressure ang uh, Onyx Pitch. Oh, actually, Beshi, sa Sun Sparks, feeling ko isang hila lang talaga ni Grid. Babalik na yung laban eh. Kasi so far, may kita natin, lamang na lamang yung Onyx Pitch ngayon. Pero that is because yung formation nila is meant for their uh, composition. Mm -hmm. Paano kaya kung yung Sun Sparks oh, dito ipin? yung formation na yun because they have the Kaja na Ayan hindi na. naman na makakontra ng isang uh, purified dito ng Onyx PH but anyways this is again another lord for Onyx PH possible sila may kuha nito but for the Sun Sparks they had to force actually to uh, contest this one lumulusot that si Kaja question, pero lumulusot si Kaja nakaredy mga kaibigan on to this match 10-12 lagi natin Ayan na 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 wala na buhay si Wise pero makakatakas pa rin mga kaibigan so, PNK na iwan dito ang kaso natin mga kaibigan Grade S 
blood on the hands of Olipage. That's a Holy Mary play coming from the side of Sun Sparks. Alam mo, ang galing ni Grid doon ah. Yung, yung, yung ano niya, clutch moment na huliin si Wise, hindi lang nabigyan ng follow-up damage eh. Yeah. Pero if ever makukuha pa nila yung Lord sa ganun sitwasyon, napaatras eh. The Holy Mary play. Grabe. Oh, ito talaga yung Holy, Holy Mary play na hindi natin i-expect na walang backup. Kasi yun talaga yung pinaka-goal ng Sun Sparks sa laban na to. Because sa uh, Olympic H, meron silang nga aso dito na talagang Man's best friend, literal. Kasi willing to protect, willing to dive for the ammo. And for Olympic H, yun naging edge ka. Kasi uh, automatically, pag tayo sa team fight, anim sila. Ngayon, wala yung isang player nila. Kakaboy nila na player nila, automatically meron pa rin sila. Pang crowd, crowd control. Kelvin siya dito, ginamit na ang kanyang uh, edge check. Nahuli! Si Farid 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 Tini ejector na dito pero nanakap oh my Venus pulado na ren eto na ang ganti na kapi manggagaling sa likod buong atropang sun sparks na kanya muna na iwan dito sa gitna si JP they're able to take down pop immortality shot down si JP I think this is it 3 man down for the side of sun sparks ah! make it 4 sabay wala walang sagot ang Beshiwa! sun sparks eto na may minion 